In this video, I'm going to be showing off 20 cursed creations made in vanilla Minecraft. Hello! Hello! You're in for a treat today. And by a treat, I mean you're going to be disturbed. So it's up to you. You can just pick a container and we'll look at it together. This one's appealing to me. I'm going to go through this one first. Yeah. Glow in the duck. <laughs> so that the duck is glowing. Exactly what it says on the tin. <laughs> I just realised they called it a duck when it's clearly a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so how would you rate this out of five potatoes? I'm going to give that a zero potatoes. If anything, this is wholesome. Hall of deception. Choose wisely. You can take all the tools and your objective is to mine these three blocks. See how well you know Minecraft. <laughs> okay, I, I think I might have an idea of what's going to happen here. <laughs> so for example, if I try and dig this dirt with the shovel... Oh no! <laughs> okay, that's disconcerting. The pickaxe works on the dirt. And the yeah. axe works on the cobblestone. Oh, I see. Two potatoes. Two potatoes, okay. <laughs> oh, thanks! The Hall of Safety and Serenity. This sounds nice. <laughs> so I'm assuming we'll be safe and serene as long as we don't touch this hazard illuminated button. <laughs> Getting right in the corner. <laughs> so I get a nice view. Oh! Yeah! Do they even actually explode? They're friendly. <laughs> okay, that's... <laughs> it's quite disconcerting. Even though I know they're not going to explode, it's still, like, terrifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to give that one a, a four potatoes. The Field of Forever Frolicking. Ooh. <laughs> that is actually quite creepy in its own way. you got to hit it at the right time. But you're not going to go short of wheat anytime soon. <laughs> well, mainly you're not going to go short of seeds. <laughs> yeah, oh my got goodness. Three out of five potatoes. It's good frolicking. The Chest of Curious Containment. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see what's happened here. <laughs> it's a chest that contains a chest. It violates the known laws of technology. Two potatoes. The target of piercing disappointment. Right, ready? Wait! <laughs> <laughs> That's clever, I like that. Three potatoes. Duke Fox of Never Ending Betrayal. Okay, is this gonna eat the discs or something? <laughs> I think you're learning. So pop any disc in, any disc you like. See if you can take it's it out that... again. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's like a phone number I can call or something. We might just have to um, wait for it to stop. <laughs> This is just how I dance in real life. Me too. Actually, no way. This is me in real life. <laughs> just shuffling from side to side. <laughs> Literally that, if I'm lucky. It's still playing from this location. From this spot, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a four potato. That's a good one. It's so cursed, you actually have to change your Wait, Minecraft settings. On. What? I feel like I can still hear it. The cow of recurring nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> Mutant. That's pretty cursed, you gotta admit. One potato. The sheep of repetitive trauma. Oh dear. Oh, that's cursed. This is a three potato easily. The sheep system beguilement. So you may know that if you name a sheep Jeb, it turns into a colour changing sheep. Did you know the same thing happens if you name a sheep Quilby? <laughs> This is an interesting fact, I didn't know this, because usually I just name all my bees Quilby. <laughs> what do you name your sheep? Sorry? <laughs> Four potato. The sign of unending dizziness. See if you can read that sign. <laughs> this is a very important sign. <laughs> and must be read. Yes, got it. <laughs> yeah, you can read it if you don't look directly at it, but as soon as you look at it, it faces away from you. <laughs> That's clever. And quite frustrating if you don't know the trick. <laughs> yeah. This could be the five potato. Maybe not the only five potato. The dispenser of dubious merit. This is my favourite one. <laughs> is, this, is this dubious? This is genius. <laughs> what happens if we go... I think this is also a five. 
The doors of intense frustration. <laughs> that is intensely frustrating. <laughs> How have you done that? How are they flipped? No, we've got... you, you, bro you broke it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it. I've done this by accident before. <laughs> yeah, that's confusing. This is the most cursed one. These these are wacky and creative. They're uh, good for potatoes. <laughs> the bear of above average intelligence. <laughs> Have you heard the phrase, two brains are better than one? I've heard the phrase, two bears are better than one. <laughs> this is truly a fearsome animal. He's friendly though. Mm. He is friendly, he's nice. And he's got a cute little igloo he lives in with not really enough headroom for some of his heads. <laughs> Three potatoes. The bed of unreachable respite or respite. All right, let's go night. Okay. <laughs> That's very frustrating. So the bed is just gonna sink into the ground as soon as you try and sleep. Three and a half potatoes. Perhaps not disturbing, but certainly annoying. The structure of unlikely integrity uh, <laughs> that's pretty cursed, I like that. It's, it's like a trophy made of water. It's a cup of water. Yeah, that makes it extra cursed. <laughs> it's gotta be another five potato. It's <laughs> just baffling on every level. The globe for perpetual gyration. Ooh, what block is that? It's a player head. You can give them any skin. So someone's made a globe type skin. It's quite grisly. <laughs> yeah. When you think about this as just someone's head, it, it gets pretty dark. Yeah, I but like it. Equally, quite a nice addition to uh, any study. Four potatoes. The torch of infinite darkness. That's ominous. <gasps> Ooh. It's just a torch that emits no light at all when it's turned off. Three potatoes. You know what to do. Yep. We can't plant this in wool though, can we? No. Ah, smart. <laughs> Brilliant. That is cursed. <laughs> How tall is that? It's enormous. <laughs> well, it's just a regular tree. What, what do you mean? That's got to be four potatoes. Four and a half. And I think there's just maybe one more. I'll get of incomparable patience. <laughs> just a normal bow. Is this going to shoot it really slowly? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> See if you can hit the target. Okay. That's what I've been trying to do. <laughs> it's like bullet time. Here it is. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Nailed it. After only 12 hours of waiting. This is very cool and very cursed. This is one of my favorites. This is easily five potatoes. <laughs> yes. It's, it's hypnotic. I could just keep watching it. <laughs> well, Eddie, it's been a pleasure to have you back on the channel. Thanks so much for joining Thank us. You. And uh, we'll see you next time.